Um, she first started having symptoms when she was about 13 years old. Um, they didn't actually get to diagnose it for about two years. There was little things and tests, but they really didn't know what it was. When I first got sick, we did so many tests. I have had um, x-rays, PET scans, MRI, CT scans. Um, they had electrodes on my head one time just to see what was happening. It breaks my heart. It's like a knife stabbed into my heart and somebody is twisting it. I can't stand for her to be in pain. I would prefer to take her pain away. I would like to take her illness away and put it on me if I could. It affects our lives a lot because we're a very close family and so everything that happens to one kind of happens to another. And we had to take turns with her in the hospital. I wasn't home a lot of the time. I wasn't able to do a lot of the stuff I normally do for my son and my husband. Going through everything is the, the surgeries, the pain, not knowing and just not knowing when it's going to end. That was the hardest part for me. And I feel very helpless and considering that, you know, I help people for a living and I can't help my own child, it, it's a feeling of, you know, you're helpless. You don't know what to do. You don't know how else to help her. So it, it's, it's very frustrating. So for once she was able to step out of that and just feel like a normal kid. I wanted to go to Hawaii and swim with the dolphins because Hawaii, it's the most beautiful place in the world. And I always wanted to go. And swimming with the dolphins has always been my dream, but we haven't been able to. And I love Hawaii, it's the most beautiful place. I want to go there again. Oh, I was just so, I was happy for her. Um, I was happy that she was going to get that's a wish that she's had her whole life. So for her to be able to get what she wants and for something positive to come out of this whole situation that we've been going through was the best thing that could ever happen. It was actually more than I hoped it would be. I didn't think I'd be, I thought I was just going to go there and just swim with the dolphins. And they actually gave me more and actually made it such a great experience that I would never ever forget it. To see her have her wish and to see her have such a wonderful time, I kept on thinking, you know, wow, look at everything that we've been through to know that she's able to have this, something that makes her so happy, something that makes her feel so good. I forgot everything. I forgot I was sick for four years. I forgot all the pain. I forgot everything I went through. I was playing with my favorite creature and I didn't want to get out of the water. I wanted to stay there forever. Um, they gave me actually more hope for it, like to actually fight to be better, to fight to get my wish to go on the trip because if I was sick I wouldn't be able to go. So I, fight, I fought harder to go. Um, granting a wish is one of the best things that you could possibly do for a child, especially a child who has had any type of health issues. But it is a life-changing experience for them. It is something that they'll be able to remember forever and it is an amazing experience for them and they deserve it.